Hey gang, welcome back to Freeform Friday. And I thought I'd go in a slightly skewed direction this time because we've all got those games. Usually at least one. I mean, anybody that's a gamer usually has at least one game that's it's your fallback. It's your you know, I'm just don't have the time to deal with the twelve year old on the back of comms talking smack. I don't really just have the brain power on me to be doing out complex tactics and strategies for some of my solo player games. Or you're just busy. For me, commonly it's either folding laundry or rendering videos, especially some of the complicated ones that'll sit here and they'll take forty five minutes to render. Always seem to have a personal game that it's what you fall back to. It's like, okay, I got forty five minutes to basically render a video and make sure that if there's a hiccup I'm here nearby to, okay, shut it back down and re-render it or fix whatever's going on. You get the idea I'm going for. Now, for me, my dead time game, my chill and relax day, brain dead game is also one that breaks with personal tradition. I don't mod the games. I don't download mods and things like that very often. And I play straight through vanilla games and enjoy them without you know, some of the different mods and the joys and also complications some of those can be. My fallback game, though, I have modded just, well, you know, I've got a slot load of mods. I haven't modded it myself. I don't have those kind of skills and such. But I've got a slot load of mods I use with it, though I do it differently than one might expect. Now, what is the game? Banished! <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I'm right in the middle of the Banished logo, aren't I? Well, that kind of sucks. But Banished, I know. No conflict, survival building game where well, you start out with your few survivors and build a new and hopefully thriving community. You know, because it's real easy to pause it, stop it, step back out to check on rendering, or if it's first render, if you gotta do a second render, set the video back up and come back to it. If I've got laundry to fold to sit and play and watch my people go back and forth while I fold laundry on the side table. And I've got a, and I've got quite a few done over time that I've saved that I've kept around. And the thing is let's go ahead and load load up my most recent. While I've got a Well I have a ton of mobs that I've downloaded for it. Oh god I made have a mess die out here shortly. I play it different. I don't play with any of those like respawning rocks or regenerating coal or you know, you know four times wood harvest or anything like that. All that is straight vanilla. My thing, part right off here, is the buildings. Got all the Japanese up here, but I've got a few of the others out and across the little cottages. Uh, different ho houses especially. And what I do as I start and stick to just the vanilla. Just the vanilla building materials. Your basic house, your basic stone house, those kind of things. And it does not like my report recording program. <laughs> Which is why you will never see this as a series, regular series. But my big thing is, once I get the town hall, I stick with just the original vanillas. And I get the town hall in, and I get the first group of refugees. When I get the first group of refugees come in, then I can afford the resources and such to let in. They come in, and I pick one of the other sources, one of the other types, such as, you know, eh, the Japanese stuff, the Japanese houses, the Japanese buildings. I get another group in, I add in. Usually I add the little houses first, little house, little house second floor, stuff that goes with that. Then I add in usually the Japanese. Then I start going for some of the high fantasy. Some of the medieval type buildings and constructs. Basically as more people show up, they bring more cultures, more building styles, more creativity and diversity. Well this last group a serious pain in the butt. Got him in, was massively ahead. I mean, I had 14,000 extra food stockpiled. Everything was good. Life was beautiful. 
And then you got in, okay, they're a bigger group. Start to pull down on the resources. And you know, okay, that was survival. That was doable. Put in this entire crop field area to add to it. All gonna be good. And then this nice early winter snow you hit. See? Yeah, that hit in midsummer. Summer, nothing but summer in the seasonal title bar. Wiped out almost every crop field completely. So, here I am, early winter, with barely 3,000 food. I was after having traded a lot of stuff to a merchant that came in. So, that's how I like to play, and it's, it's my kickback game, because I can do just like this, let them run. I despise that. My tailor is like, I'm out of materials! Okay, I'm looking over there. And there's 12 other. You're not out of materials. Don't get it. Fetch, bitch, fetch. Uh, sorry. Well, those little annoying things in the game. I can't stand it. And everybody's getting cold, even though we've got firewood. Not a lot. But we've got it. And it's not. It's by far nowhere near most exciting game out there. But it's a good one. I can let it run and I can turn full plot tree, check our rendering video, and just enjoy. Sometimes you need that. So, you've seen my dirty little secret, my little relaxation time game. I'll skin the tailor. I'll we'll replace it. What's yours? You just want to kick back, not be bothered by the world, not be bothered having to you know, overthink, stress out, plan, tactics, strategies, all sorts of, you know, I've got to do some, you know, obviously, you know, city engineering and, you know, layout designs, but it's not like a war game. It's not like a combat game. What's your little fallback game? What's your guilty pleasure haven? Let me know in the comment section down below. below. Let me your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions, ideas. Hit the like or dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, if there's something out there important to you, whether it's up and out face to face or from behind your terminal, get involved, make a difference. But take care and stay safe. I am the Articulate Grunt. Sorry for yourself, Friday's been a little short. Take care of yourself and stay safe out there. And I'll catch you later, because for now, I'm out from here. Bye.